Uh, hi, I'm in the Visa VESA booth here at uh, CES 2023. We're going to look at some of the demos they're showing. Uh, I want to start with this first one. Uh, it's called Clear MR. It's a new certification program that the organi organization has developed. Uh, this was introduced um, last summer uh, and is based on trying to understand the, uh, the motion response of a display. So there is a, an existing specification called M MPRT, uh, which has uh, been widely used, but not necessarily very accurate, uh, and can, is also subject to the finagling, I, will, I don't want to say cheating, but let's say cherry picking uh, of, dis of the results uh, by manufacturers. Uh, so Visa got together and tried to figure out a new uh, method for doing this. Uh, and so they have these uh, various levels that they've gone through here. So uh, it, the minimum starts at, uh, at 3,000, uh, clear MR 3,000, uh, and goes up. Uh, actually, what they're announcing at CES is the three higher new levels that go all the way up uh, to 13,000. Um, and the L LG displays... Um, monitor, OLED monitor that I saw in their suite uh, actually has this new clear MR uh, 13,000 specification. And what that means is um, of, for, if you're looking at an image on, a dis on the monitor here, uh, 13, 130 of the pixels will be clear versus one blurry pixel. Uh, so that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty high standard here, so that means the edges of these boxes as you're moving around here uh, will be very crisp and sharp. Only one and one thirty of those pixels will be a little bit blurry. Uh, so very high level, the highest level uh, that they've done so far. Uh, in this next demo, I want to first start talking about their DP enhanced cables here. Um, I was always under the impression that the cable length for high frequency distribution was limited by the cable, um, but that's not necessarily true. Um, I've learned that a lot of that, the, the high frequency components need to be, uh, are limited by the, actually by the connector itself. And so during the COVID, the en engineers worked on the enhancing this cable uh, and by, by basically um, spreading out some of the connectors um, because you're unable and doing better shielding. Um, it, this is not a twisted pair. When you have a cable, it's a twisted pair, so it's better shielding. You can add additional shielding, which helps with EMI, which uh, increases the length of the cable. Uh, so now these cables can be, uh, there's an, an enhanced certified cable, uh, and the first ones are now available or soon to be available that can go up to um, uh, 1.3 meters now. Uh, well, this one has 1.3 meters, uh, but the certification is really for uh, showing that you can meet the, the, the frequency, either a 40 gigabit or uh, 80 gigabit, gigabit certification. Um, it doesn't really specify a length. It just specifies that it has to meet the, um, the transmission requirements. So you could have very thick cables to extend the length, for example. Uh, in addition, they're working now with the USB IF uh, to work on uh, an, uh, an optical cable extension uh, as well. So we're looking at a, uh, the new Samsung 8K by 2K monitor here, uh, which is connected to this uh, gaming PC. Uh, this is the first demonstration of a 2.1 uh, cable interface. Uh, this is using a 1.3 meter cable uh, running 13.5 gigabits per lane for a total of 54 gigabits. Um, and that's actually uh, really needed because this monitor can go up to 240 hertz. Uh, so it's, it, again, a single cable now that can run at that frequency. So that's pretty important. Uh, it is using an AMD um, um, GPU in the monitor. Uh, also, I think they're one of the first to, to have this uh, 2.1 interface, uh, DisplayPort 2.1 interface, but uh, NVIDIA and Intel GPUs uh, can support this uh, as well. 
Over here, we're showing a, a, the demo. They are showing a demo of a laptop going to a hub, uh, up to some monitors using a DisplayPort 2.1 interface. Uh, this is using the USB-C connector. Uh, the 8K by 2K monitor we saw before it uses DisplayPort enhanced uh, physical connector and cable. Uh, so what this is, this laptop is uh, close to commercial grade ready hardware. It's based on Intel's 13th generation um, Raptor Lake uh, mobile chipset. Uh, and it's a uh, Dell chassis. Uh, and over here, uh, and obviously it supports DisplayPort 2.1. Uh, in this case, uh, all the way up to 80 gigabits per second. Uh, it goes over to this Synaptics hub which does support DisplayPort 2.1, uh, up to 80 gigabits on, uh, from the input and the output. Uh, and then on the output, so that means it could connect to four 4K monitors running up to 144 hertz on each, or two 8K 60 hertz monitors. On this particular demo, there's only uh, three monitors connected. Uh, but if you come in a little bit closer here, uh, this kind of verifies you've got 20 gigabits going out on, these, uh, on each lane here. So I think that is uh, pretty much the story here from the Visa VESA booth here at CES. Uh, Chris Chinock for Insight Media.